Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for some first looks at some new games? New games, yes, new games. Well, that is, hello, good afternoon. I am Lad Team Maker on behalf of the Game One Player Self Podcast and Content Creators. I say, are you ready for some new gamey goodnessy stuff? Because, right, and I'll just turn this down just in case you're hearing this in an echo. Guess what? Guess what, right? We have two games, two games to show you today from uh, Keymailer. So I did not pay for them before anyone says. And here come the auto hosts. As we say, thank you very much to West72, JD, Tazzy, Gene and the Short, and Video Dames. Cosmic Gamers, Test Slight, Tom Snater, Angie Aurea, Lucky Mucky Ducky, Ed Placentia, Weeps. Ali Pelletier, Mystery of Sweden, Abs MMA, Cat Strike, Sweden Ruckus, uh, Smidgey87, Tig Whippy Bot, Hergerman, Straff from KBA Vera, Chief Fin Dog, Yeah, Beer, Ghost Menagerie, 3 Gigahertz, Fair TV, Stupidly Epic, David's Board, Jill Bulls, Reese's Wave, and Demon Video Game. Thank you. Thank you so much for your house this afternoon. Now, now, both these games, from what I can see, are twin stick shooters or shooters. And uh, the first one is going to be called Nova Drift. They should be both be available now on uh, Steam. Because I know one was uh, the, I think it was the 4th of March, it should be today it comes out. Let us see what it does. Oh, it's a gravity crash style. So this is not a twin six shooter, this is a gravity crash style. Basically, you, you thrust with the uh, left trigger. You rotate with the left stick. Go off screen, that's good. Hmm. Okay, so that's what we do. <laughs> Fifty unlocks remaining. Hello, Epic. Good afternoon. How are you doing, sir? How's life treating you? I was doing well. Welcome to a game called Nova Drift. So we're going to look at this for about an hour. And then we're going to go on to the next game as a first look. It's exclusive first looks. Bad. I'm not bad. I mean, I've heard some shitty news this morning about Keith Flynn. Uh, Hello, Wookie. How you doing? I'm not bad, Frankie. Keith Flynn. Please tell me you've heard of the Prodigy. Yeah, the fire started. <laughs> 
smack my bitch up, yeah. Breathe, you know, voodoo people. Reach 50%, nice. Are you really enjoying Spider-Man? Is this a game called Novadrift? Hello, Punisher. How you doing? Don't know yet. Some people are jumping to conclusions of suicide. I'm not yet. This is a game called Nova Drift, to say I got it on Keymailer today. And I, you know, I've been playing it possibly for about an hour, it depends how it goes. Then I shall be trying the other game I got, Lost Destruction. Yeah, he's dead. Unfortunately. 49 to the Batman games, nice. See, it's really good. I do love the Batman games, don't get me wrong. Apart from Arkham Knight, which wasn't as great as City. Keep getting upgrades, nice. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? It's like, whoa, really? But anyway, unfortunately, after that piece of bad news, we must continue. So this is my first look. A game called Nova Drift. Well, you know our eventual chances of survival is zero, right? And we're all going to go at some point. Let's be honest here. Let's try and make it as long as possible there, yeah? Believe me, I'm trying. <laughs> uh... Believe me, I have also have no idea what's going on in this game, apart from shooting bad guys and upgrading. <laughs> yeah, near zero. I have not found someone who is immortal yet. Even in my cloud. Because I've not met in my cloud yet. Well, one from Highlander. So yeah, I will find out how much this is on Steam for you guys if you fancy it. I say, it's not a twin stick shooter by any means. You thrust with your left trigger, you fire with your right trigger, you move around with your left stick. It's 
It's more like a gravity crash, defender, that sort of stuff. From back on edge. But the next game we will be trying today is uh, Moss Destruction. And if we have time before 3 o'clock, I may do a, do a stream of a game that I was going to play Friday. I may. Depends how well we like this. How are you guys? How was your weekend? Did you do much? Because I know you're streaming still some Kingdom Hearts 3. Epic, which is why I'm not in your stream, because I've not played it yet. And also tickets for uh, EGX gone south tomorrow. We finished it yesterday. Nice. That spoiling. Is it good? that close the game. Really close the game, didn't it, you bugger? Never occurred while I'm dating. Wait, what? Um... Where's the game? <laughs> I see the game. <laughs> I see the game playing. I don't see it on my screen. <laughs> um. Well, Far Pro Wrestling needs an update. It's gone all horribly wrong. Task and we'll start again. Good, right. That's not a great start, is it? It can screw up your PC. <laughs> mm. Try it again. Good, right. So you can see the controls at the bottom there of the screen. Or should I say that while I'm inside? Yeah, I'm hopefully going to be playing uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 in April. But 
but I've got four more levels of uh, Train 2 to play and then Train 3 is uh, uh, up next and then it'll be Kingdom Hearts 3. Is anybody looking at going to each X in October? During the NFL weekend. Which is a stupid move in itself. So you can unlock uh, endless mode after you beat the final boss. <laughs> like, um, okay. <laughs> Wave after wave. Now, to be fair, if I do make this to about to an hour, I'm not sure, <laughs> really. I mean, it's nice. It just feels like it's one of those, you know, sort of turn off for five, ten minute games. Yeah. Do we agree so far, ladies and gentlemen? It's not a bad game, let me, let me just say that. You know. It's a nice little shooter, you know, it doesn't go silly with the, the thrust controls, you know, it doesn't send you in silly directions really quickly unless you just push through. It's a score chase game to me as well, but don't know. A re-roll? This is a re-roll. I don't know, I mean with me, <laughs> you know when new shinies come out, I'm like, ooh, shiny, so I don't know, it, it's one I may come back to, so it's not a bad game, I mean there's another game that I have on here, that's, that, that is our sort of side-scrolling shooter. I honestly don't know. I, it's, it's not compelling me at the moment to come back to that one more go, which is a shame. Don't get me wrong, I do love a twin stick shooter. I really do. But this isn't it. This harkens to the days when I was younger and we had like, you know, things like Defender and Asteroids and 
Games of that uh, ilk. This is very true, Epic. This is very true. I could I honestly sit here and say, "Wow, it's worth a pump." If you like a game that you know you sit on the bog on the Vita, maybe and just play it that way, I'd say that's a maybe. As a long-term come back to it, day in, day out. Mm, I don't know. I I I, I can't see it. I mean, there are games like Super Stardust that will do that much better for you in Geometry Wars. You know? But, I mean, the good points of this, and we got to talk about the good points as well, because, you know, let's be fair and balanced. Different weaponry. Seems easy to level up and upgrade your ship. I've been finding more different um, enemies, you know, with their different weapons. We now we're getting mines, you know. Yeah, like a, as I say, like a Vita or a mobile phone. And it functions on the control pad very well. I mean, don't get me wrong on that either. I mean, we have to ask ourselves one of the thing, big questions as well. Is it fun? It's alright, you know, it's... Is it holding my attention? And at the moment, it kind of is, but I have a feeling it it won't. You know, it will outstay its welcome, maybe. That's pretty much what it is, dude. It's a score chase game. And controlling your movements for this, uh, because it's, you know, gravity is. That's not going to work like that, you know, so... You can go for it to unlock stuff as well, like hyper boost power up unlocked uh, from enemy cargo train. So it looks like you'd be able to just gain more levels, make your weapons harder. I mean, this looks like endless mode. I've reached level 40. So let's see whether we can actually have any other modes first. That's a lot of unlocks. So 
So you can practice, turn the practice on and off, it only has endless. Uh, so there's got to be other unlocks for game mode, surely. You know what, though? I think we've seen enough. I think we've seen enough to do it. Yeah, it does look nice for great. It looks very simple, very quick. Because, I mean, you saw how many times I was upgrading my weapons. Doesn't let you change modes, come back out. So that's, that's a bad thing. Escape. Thank you. So, that's Nova Drift. No, come back out of that. Yeah, so that's Nova Drift. Um, we'll leave that there. So the next game I'm going to try, and I'm going to put this on here, uh, is Moss Destruction. Because it was a nice game, I just don't think that would last an hour's worth of play. Let's change this up. Good, right, okay. Flick you back there. Because what I'll do then, because we have some time, because I was going to go to three o'clock anyway, I'll show you the other game I was on about. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the mini map can help you find your way around. Okay. Uh, your current mech rank is displayed up there. Uh, gain rank by killing enemies. Uh, okay, you can advance a maximum of two ranks in each level. Two weapons, fine. That's, that's standard almost these days. So it's wise to keep weapons consuming different. Ammo types, yes. Yeah, so this is a twin stick shooter. But again, right trigger, shoot it, right stick points, left mirrors. It's gonna have several positive mix effects and feel randomized, okay. Push that tempo so it speeds you up, okay? And, you know, nice graphics. I have a feeling this is going to be a roguelike. I believe this is early access, this one. Right, you found a portal to the secret shop. Spend crystals or goodies for your shopping done. You can come back here for the portal. But we're end this bit level. Oh, no, nah, I've been shutted. Uh, it's a roguelike. Ooh. I like this, the melee. <laughs>
Right, so we found the exit already at this level. So yeah, so isometric view. Actiony sort of exploration fighty shooty. Would people enjoy it? Um, it, it feels a Diablo like. Would I recommend it to people at the moment? Uh, I don't know. I can't really say at the moment. I mean, it's too early to tell, but. You know, shoots okay. Sun setting. I don't have enough money. Oh, that's a nice little weapon for a shotgun. Nice little spread on the uh, on the ammo, you know. On the bullets flying. you guys think so far the games you've seen? I'd obviously you want, you want to get your hands on some of them and play them yourself, maybe. See whether you like it or not, but again, it's, it's not bad. a lot of enemies it seems. Again, the question asked, would I come back to and play it more? <laughs> um, I'd like to. And that's a nice little gun. So it looks like you just go around each level. There's the exit. Finding the, the weapon. And then bugger it off to the next level. So simple than that. It's no real story here. If you want a story, go get Red Dead Redemption. So I'll give you both prices of game of the games we have played so far today. After we have finished this one. Get away from me, you wormy type bugger. There's a shop there. Really need a shop, do we? Because we haven't got much money. 
In fact, where is the monies on this? I can't see where the monies are. Okay, so... When you get the weapon, all hell breaks loose and you have to get to that. You have to get to the exit. I do like the music. But you do have to start again from the beginning. So I have to remember that you do have limited ammo. So going around. Choosing get everything that moves will cost you ammo. But choosing get everything that doesn't move will cost you ammo. But I don't see the amount of money I have. And that's the problem, because if you want to go to the shop, how do you know? How do you know what to spend? How do you know what you can spend? There's the shop anyway. So we've got the shotgun and uh, the of our little boot, boot thing. John and Bob, thank you for the host. But yeah, as I say, I'll show you the game Rigid Force Alpha, which I Say no throw story to this, it seems, so that's good. Sometimes you don't want a story. Uh, say, once again, roguelike, just joining us. It's not bad. Um, again, if you want a quickish blast around, yeah, I'd say this one's more PC than mobile. You guys up to this week? You guys up to anything? I know this coming weekend, Captain Marvel, Devil May Cry. There we go. I found some crystals at last. Oh, that's where the money is. My, I see. And I bet the crystals don't carry over to your next game. This feels like very, um, sort of almost Enter the Gungeon. However, into the Gungeon you kept your money. Your levels, this doesn't look like you do. Okay, one more go on this. Because again, if this is a short sharp.
We'll see, we'll see whether we can get past the level two. It's not exactly the fan most fantastic weather in the world. A lava gun. Yeah, so you don't keep the money. Other games in the genre like this I'd recommend, um, Flame Over, much, you know, where you play as a farmer. Going up le uh, building levels, putting out fires, rescuing cats. Super Dungeon Brothers as well, that one is a fun one, and you can have two or three people. I'm not. It's a shame, really, because I don't know whether it's because of it's a rogue or not. But I mean, don't get me wrong. Both games are not awful games. I mean, one of the things you said was. And it's an, it is an important question. Am I coming back each time and wanting to play more? Am I coming back to wanting to beat my high score? But on this one, I want to kill the power drills off. It's a no, unfortunately. To be fair, I have also played one. Loaded, yeah, loaded and reloaded, yes. I do, dude. Yes, I do. Very good shouts, my friend. Very good shouts. Drab's the right word. Um... But see, after I've done this, I'll show you the two prices of two the two games on Steam. I mean, maybe pick them up on sale. But then I'll show you what the game I really like. That I saw and I just have insane amounts of fun with. And I do like the music, the music's quite sort of, you know. And there's another new game that I will be um, showing you this week called Matchy Gotchy. Uninspired, yes, that sounds like a better way of saying it. But yeah, that's Mass Destruction. So I'll give you the quick price of them both before we go on to the game that I do want to show you as well that I've been wanting to play for a while right uh so store so Nova Drift the first game we saw which is the gravity almost base get base shooter uh is let's have a look see what it is it will be I know it's in my library I want to see how much it is though it is the early access game. Uh, 
Oh, it will be available March 27th, uh, 2019. So that's not out yet. And Moss Destruction. Is 90, was it 1999? Oh no, £10.90 is Moss Destruction. That's out now. So yeah, so Nova Drift, the first one, is in early access and it will be out uh, March 27th properly, most likely. So, the game I did want to show you, dude. Because those games, well, they're nice. They're nice games. They're just nothing to stick with for over an hour and a half, it looks like, unfortunately. Good afternoon, Will. How are you doing, man? But this is a game that I want to I want to show you because this game I loved. So if we do carry on for another hour, it might be this game we're <laughs> playing. But yeah, so those first looks there. Friday I'll be doing another first look of a game called Machi Gotchi Z. Now I played the first one. It's like a Tamagotchi game, um, but it was alright. It was cute. It was fun. You know, it's a nice little sort. Of wait there for a few minutes. That's what I did. This thing. This I can recommend. This I haven't played enough of, but I want to. Rigid Force Alpha. Stage one, we'll do it difficulty medium. You really Welcome can, can't you? You can see. Rigid Force Alpha ready for deployment. Here are the mission parameters. You can see the difference. I'll say they're not bad games. Research station burners is under attack. One Among holding. They want me projects. to play one more. The scientists one more. of this facility have established the core program. It is the same technology used to operate the Rigid Force Alpha systems. The enormous potential of this project must under no circumstances fall into the wrong hands. The calculated route leads us through the asteroid mining colony operation. So I may finish an hour early, go to two o'clock. Prepare for combat. Starting mission. Now there's this um think R type project A, Sin Wheel and Mora. Asteroid mining colony. Usually rare minerals are mined here for use in research and science. Hell, even I had a storm when that gets made. From Ninth Week Studios. Catching. Prepare for enemy attack. This game is pure, just adrenaline fun. If I can remember the controls fully. <laughs> it has been a while since I played this, but this game is 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 very very good. Say very R type. That's my fault every time. <laughs> Did get it quick enough. Ship damaged. I know ship's damaged. System failure. Yeah, very. But again, that's not a bad thing.
mean, you can see the upgrades like the extra missile as well. Oh yeah, Will, before I decided to do what I was doing last night, I I had a um I had an urge to play more Formula One last night. Just continue the season is like watching that race. Yes. Caution! Enemy signal detected. Right, this again, this signal source. It's just a Like you just want to just get blow the shit up. Again, another game that would work well on the Vita. Warning! Enemy threat ahead. Bullet sponge, bullet hell games. And the difference between this and our type? This, using the bumpers, you can put your little drone bit. Not like that. <laughs> Would they are. Would you like to continue? Well, yes, I'd like to continue. Understood. Maybe I shouldn't have continued without a drone to help us. Careful! Don't you care for me, young lady? Okay, maybe I should have careful. <laughs> How much what platform? Steam? What's this so far? Uh, I haven't seen it on PSN. And the price, I can get you the price after this game. I think it's around about £12. Looks like it shot its load there. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it on PlayStation. But definitely on Steam, because that's where I got it. As you can see by the lovely layer, have above me. And tip jar right there. We are now approaching the Vermis Research Station, the largest center for research and development of new energy exercise systems music. and weapon systems in this solar system. The original health signal came from inside this facility. Prepare for enemy contact. Yeah. Really doesn't, does it? <laughs> because I was pissing about that, didn't seem to start this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, so after I've done this, I'll call it. Because you know, you only wanted the first look. First look you have. The cookies. But yeah, I'll be back uh, Tuesday. Careful. With some more of uh, Mass Effect. Mass Effect 3. Ouch! <laughs> so yeah, let's let's take a gander and how much. Don't give up yet. Is. I don't want to keep Mission failed. But it's far good. I remember playing that a lot. Right. Damn everyone knows start of games again, you know. And what credits in the main mission? Yes. Rigid for sale for that is, and the price of that, ladies and gentlemen, is. You pay twenty pounds for that. I don't believe you have to. Uh, rigid. Uh. Oh, you can get the soundtrack bundle with it for twenty pounds sixty-eight, or the game on its own for fifteen pounds forty-nine. Which is not bad. Which is very, very not bad. So, ladies and jelly spoons, uh, that I will say is that for the day. Um, so yeah, so we saw three games. Same so Nova Drift, uh, the gravity sort of gaming. Moss Destruction, which you know, isometric top-down shooter, not bad. Just they, they just. They just were, weren't they? Um, there wasn't anything grabbing for them, unfortunately. But they are on Steam. One's early access. Uh, the I say the bit went to I think it was today. The uh, the NDA lifted. Let's have a look, just to double check, just to make sure I haven't been naughty. But I'm sure it wasn't. I'm sure, I'm sure it was fine, right? No drift. Here we go. Uh -huh, uh, uh, right. Okay. So no drift. Uh, you're looking for 120 unlockable upgrades. Yeah, the game will release uh, on March 27th. Yeah, feel free to stream and post game footage from before the date. Yeah. So that's okay. So yeah. So I was fine. <laughs> I was fine to do it. It's okay. But yeah, so thank you very much, everyone, for joining us today for this hour-ish of free games. Uh, say Nova Drift, Moss Destruction, and Rigid Force Alpha as a special because, you know, that was quite fun. Um, shall we go raid Mr. Will's toy clearance? I think so. I think he's live now. I say I'll be back tomorrow with some more Mass Effect. Uh, toy uh, clearance. Let's go do a raid. As I should say, I'll be back tomorrow for uh, Mass Effect 3. Two hours of that, as usual. Then tomorrow night, it's more of Dragon Age Inquisition, where I am struggling a little bit. So come and see me kick some ass. But right now, let us go and give Willa hello. See you tomorrow, and goodbye.